hello guys welcome back again to the channel and today i'm going to be going through the manual of how to use the ease order because i realize this is something that has been demanded a lot and even how to install uh, the ease order 2.10 now i have a new version which uh, pretty much uses the price as the stop loss and take profit if you remember the previous one used to use the stop loss and the tp as being your um number of pips right and even the pending order as well there was a pending gap so to say that is to say the gap between the current price and uh, where you want your pending order to be but here you can just put your pending order where you want it to be without having to go through calculation so this is just using the price points okay so I just want to show you how to inst install the is order from the get go. Let's say you have, I uh, you have purchased the file from me and I have sent you the ex five or the ex four file. What you need to do is you need to go to where it says file, click where it says open data folder. Then it will give you all of this, and then within this particular. Within this particular um, set, you go to where it says MQL5. And within MQL5, you click where it says experts. So if you're using MT4, this would be MQL4, then experts. If you're using MT5, it would be MQL5, then experts, right? And then once you do that, you paste the file that I, I would have sent to you into this this is here the is order or uh, whichever file that i have sent to you then you click on cancel then you can come here on any of the uh, points on the navigator there right click click on refresh right if you don't want to do that you can click close and then uh, reopen now once you've done that you can go to here where it says is order so i've got uh i'm sure uh by the time i upload this video the is order will be on the mq market uh, uh the is order price will be on the mq market but it will replace the normal is order so if you want the one with pips and not price then just give me a shout um send me an email let's say you have bought the one with the price and you want the one with the pips that will be free of charge after you've bought one. So if you've got one version of them, then you can get the other one for free. I can make adjustments. Uh, not not uh, like these, uh, like proper adjustments. I'm just saying in terms of uh, whether or whether you want me to give you the one with the stop loss in price uh, or stop loss in pips and all of that. But otherwise, I will not do any changes unless you pay also all right and then so once i go to this and click here right i i will get this screen and most people find it hard uh to use eas and because they forget that with when you upload the ea onto the chart it it asks you here where it says common do you want to allow algo trading, which is different from the normal allow algo trading, which is on top here. So we have two places in which you can have the allow algo trading, which is the first one is here. Then the second one is there. Right. Then you click on OK. Once you've done that, then you will need to, um, you will see this on the screen. And the other part, which a lot of uh, traders don't actually look at, is here. Because the common, we do click where it says allow algo trading, but the inputs. Now, I'm going to talk about the inputs with regards to the trailing stop at this point. I don't want to talk about it a little bit later. Um, I'm going to put some timestamps on this video. Uh, so with regards to the trailing stops, uh, if you want to have a trailing stop that is active on all of the number of trades that you would have traded, you will need to have, um, number one, the trailing level or the start trailing level, which is 
when do you want your trailing stop to start operating? Do you want it to start operating at break even or at one pip or at two pips or at three pips? So that means when do you want this to trailing stop to activate? So if I put a zero there, it means the trailing stop is going to activate as soon as my price hits break even. Okay. As soon as my price hits break even, then the trailing stop will start. And or maybe if I want it to start after 10 pips of profit, then I put 10 there. What that means is as soon as the market reaches 10 pips of profit, my trailing stop will start. And my trailing width represents the distance between the trailing stop and the current market price. So if I want the price to be trailing uh, or the trailing stop to be trailing five pips away from the market price, then it means as soon as the market goes to 10 pips, which is here, then the trailing stop or the stop loss will, will jump to five pips below the 10 pips um, profit point at that at particular time, right? And the position handling there, there's different position handlings. I know different brokers have uh, netting, long short netting or hedging. So depending on your broker, if your broker allows hedging, then you can just place hedging there. Then you click on OK. Uh, then that's your this order over there. Now, as you can see, these boxes here are empty. You know, these check marks, check boxes, they're empty. And they will help you. These are the boxes that you tick on if you want to have a stop loss and a take profit. If you want your trade not to have a stop loss and a take profit, this should be unchecked or unticked such that, um, you know, there is no uh, there is no stop loss or take profit on the trade that you're putting. Uh, but if you want to, uh, you can click on these. And then you uh, if you want to have five trades, and then you can click on whether buy or sell or whatever you want to click on. Now, if you want your trailing stop to be operational, you need to click where it says allow trailing. So that the trailing stop is going to be operational on this particular uh, EA, right? And max lots just represents the maximum number of lots that you can put on a particular pay uh, with regards to the account size that you have, right? And um, let me close all of these. There's two trades that are operational here. Um, oh, my algo trading. Okay, so if you if you see here, let me just put uh, the, let me view the toolbox. Now, a lot of traders don't actually realize that when you're trading and you are trading the EA, the journal is a very important aspect of your trading this part over here. They look at the trade and then they try to click buy, click buy, and they are wondering why is it not buying, right? But if you go to journal here, it gives you the error, it tells you there's an unsupported filing mode. Now, how do you know um, whether or not the filing mode that is being used by this EA is unsupported? If you go to here, uh, let me just try, try it on gold. If you try it on gold here and say buy, still it gives you the same error. If you go to gold and right click on gold and go and say specification here, it says here on filing or in filling mode, it's fill or kill. So this uh, filling mode is specific to the broker. Okay. With derive, they use fill or kill. And therefore you would need uh, from me Let's say you have bought this um, product on the MQL platform and you're having an error uh, of uh, this particular error here. It's because uh, your particular broker uses a different mod. And then you have to check that mod and send an email or, or a WhatsApp or a Telegram message to me to say, I bought the product on MQL, but I'm having challenges with the uh, filling mod. And then I can make that slight change for you and then send you a new file that helps you to open based on that specific broker. All right. So let me close that for you. So let me.